So I'm working on uh, two, pro two, two uh, basic areas. Uh, one is to try to understand how we can get uh, strongly interacting systems in more than four dimensions, space-time. So in string theory, we have learned that you can have systems which are uh, interacting and quantum uh, in higher than four dimensions, up to six dimensions. So I'm working on some aspects of those theories. Another aspect I'm interested in is to understand the, um, <clears throat> the fate of our universe. So, so the universe has a as you know, has been there for about 14 billion years. And uh, the question is whether or not the universe will last forever. From what we know on string theory, we believe that it's not going to last forever. And the question is, how long? So for it to have lasted forever, we have only, we need a symmetry called supersymmetry, and we don't have it in our universe. So our universe is doomed. It's going to go away. So the question is, what, how long? And so those are the kind of questions I'm trying to understand. So. Uh, is it 100 billion years? Do we have much more? Do we have, do we have very, very little left? We don't know. So those are some of the interesting questions. And so we're trying to use ex examples of possible geometries and string theory which realize close enough to our universe to get an idea about what our universe could look like in terms of its lifetime. Well, there are a few moments I can remember. I have to go further back in time when I was in, uh, I think, second grade. Uh, something like seven or eight years old, seven or eight years old. I remember looking at the moon and wondering why it's not falling. And to see this bright object up there uh, that's not falling, and it didn't bother many people around me that's not falling, but it definitely bothered me. And I was wondering why is it not falling, and why isn't why aren't people curious to know that's not falling? What's the reason for it? Then there are uh, other things that happen. For example, in high school, I. I was uh, fascinated by the fact that you can actually do a calculation and decide where a ball actually will land if you kick it with some particular speed in some direction. And I said, how could it be that, you know, just simple equations predict this amazing fact? So the fact that you can actually predict with simple math was appealing. So those are the things that uh, made me very interested in physics. And uh, finally, when I finally decided, was a course I took uh, at MIT undergraduate when I studied electricity and magnetism. The beauty of electricity and magnetism was really amazing. And combined that with Einstein's theory of relativity, which combined very beautifully with it, it just, uh, I was sold on physics. <laughs>